Hi everyone, Liz here, thanks for stopping by. So I've just had a package delivered and I'm quite up to date on my packages at the moment. So I thought, right, I'll do an unboxing on this one and have a look and see where it's from. I do think I know where it's from, but we'll get into it and have a look. It's got uh, two things that feel like little diamond paintings there. And then it's got a big square thing at the back there that's sort of there all the way to the back there. But I can't turn it over because it's got my address on it. And much as I love you all, I haven't got room for everybody to come for tea at the moment. <laughs> okay, so let's uh, have a look. Uh, oh, 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 that was a clever way to do it. Okay scissors out the way over there all right so right so we've got one little black bag and one I think I know what this is as well one little grey bag so we'll have a look at that one in a second we'll have a look at this one first because this looks diamond shaped okay so they are both from stores on AliExpress and oh yeah look like yes they're definitely the one yes they're definitely yeah uh, there's nothing in there the ones that i thought there were so oh right let's have a look at this one first so these are from a store called ha he <laughs> sounds like me laughing <laughs> um yeah it's spelled h-a-h-i uh the ha he store on AliExpress and um, the two paintings one cost I think this one cost three pound eight pence and this one cost 297 and then with uh, seller savings and tax added I've paid seven pound and eleven pence for the two now they were ordered on the 11th of February and today I believe is the 7th of March so what's that a couple of weeks not too bad there's been um was it chinese new year was it february was it do you know my brain's just gone i can't remember when things were the days just blend into one what can i say i think it's a sign of getting older when everything seems to just go so fast right so let's have a look at this one again really away from well it's cute i will say that oh oh look at those sparkly colors okay and yay look at that it just spoke to me and i know it's a c-a-t uh, we are joined today by millie moo the scotty dog uh, she is asleep on the bed hello millie are you hiding in mummy's craft room are you going to say hello just say hello oh she's a pretty girl can't see your eyes it's dark in here isn't it <laughs> oh go back to sleep is it just boring diamond painting okay never mind um, she did wake up enough to just look up and say yeah what and then just has gone back to sleep again so if you hear some funny heavy breathing and uh, snoring sounds it's merely behind me down that way <laughs> right behind me okay so this is a pretty pink pussy cat with beautiful flowers in her hair and i just it is just so pretty uh, a lot of paintings that i do i buy because i like them i buy because i know i'm going to enjoy doing it it will make me smile and look it's pink what can i say and it may even have hot pink in it too so what can i say <laughs> okay and I thought, yeah, okay, it's, well, it is my usual style. Because, I mean, I love special drill paintings. Uh, I just think you get such a, a quick hit from them, shall we say. They're nice to complete. They always make me smile. And I just thought that was such a pretty drawing when it's completed. Um, I have, do have quite a few friends that have little puss cats. So I may be able to gift this one. Uh, yeah. Oh, but look at that little face and the little nose. So there's no diamonds in the eyes at all. What I may do, um, I've still got, they used to be called glossy accents or dew drops or whatever in card making. And it's where, you know, like when you've got a rose or a petal and it's just got a little drop of like rain or something on it. You can actually buy, um, as I say, glossy accents, dew drop, whatever it's called, um, whichever brand you buy. You can actually buy those and I thought I might just put those 
in the eyes and it'll just make them a bit more 3D, make them pop a little bit more. It's just something else that I'm going to try, just crossing over from a card making background into a diamond painting background. I've still got all my old, well, not all my old stuff, I have got rid of loads. Um, but yeah, there's just odd things that I think, oh yeah, I could just use that on there and just use that on there. So yeah, so the eyes aren't done, but we may have a go at doing something with those. The nose is a lovely pink nose. So we actually have um, a key code at both sides, which is 10 different gem colours and shapes and whatever. We've got a lovely necklace here, look, and big gems in the flowers up there. And then just a little teeny tiny portion of black down here as the background that hasn't got any gems on as well. So it is a partial because not all of it is diamond painted. We're just getting a little bit of string here and there. I'll just cut that one off, get rid of it. But, uh, oh, she says putting a finger on it. <laughs> hey, I never said I was a professional. But yeah, uh, anywhere where there aren't uh, letters isn't sticky. So all this part here that is black, there's no sticky on there. But where the little symbols are and everything are, and as I say, the eyes aren't either. Either, but boom. So that's your little thumbnail. I don't think you really need to see the thumbnail. I think you can see what this looks like. But that is so pretty. Oh. And as usual, I want to do them all now. I want to just stop everything that I'm doing and just go and grab my uh, tray and my kit and everything and just get going. So, ooh, toolkit. Yeah, we're a generic toolkit. Um, a little square of wax, a green boat, pink pen, and those um, exceptionally not useful tweezers. As I say, I suppose if you've got children, they can maybe use them, but still a little bit sharp at the ends there people I still do have a little bit of a sharp end but anyway yeah it is what it is it's it's a diamond painting kit I suppose they feel as though in case you're a new person to diamond painting you've not got any equipment they've got to put something in Um, I wish there was a way of saying no I don't want one but then I suppose the mass producing these and the packaging them and once it's packaged up, to then have to go in and take it out again or slow the process down by saying, does this one want a kit or, or doesn't it? I suppose it's all cost and labour and money and everything. Right, can I get into this one? Yes, I can. <laughs> Put it straight away. Okay, so let's have a look at these gems. Oh, pretty, pretty. So we're starting off with our clear, which we've got two bags of the clear. So it looks like that's going to be the main colour. We've got a little bit of palish blue, which I think is the background all down here on these decorations, whatever these are. Um, look a bit like baubles, I suppose, but we'll see when it's done. And then a nearly hot pink, two bags of that. Yeah, number three, so that's going to be the main flowers. Okay, and then a paler pink, so it's going to highlight it, um, put your depth, your shadow in it with the different colours. We've got a little bit of, that is actually a grey, that's not black, that is a darkish grey, silvery grey colour. That's going to be the stripes on Puscat, I think. And then a yellowy gold and a <laughs> goldy gold. Ooh, and then we have a white AB, that's going to be nice, just to put a few highlights in there. They're like um, little tiny pearls with uh, that iridescent coating on, and that is just going to look super. Where does that go then? That's number eight, which is the line. So, uh, oh, look. So, yeah, so she's basically like wearing jewels and pearls is this little puss cat. So we're going to have all jewels coming down here. Uh, sorry, all pearls coming down here. Oh, oh, very nice. And then your big gems there. Oops, sorry, we've got those. <laughs> Completely missed those. See, I'm a magpie. I go to the big sparkly things first. And um, they're like an ambery gold colour um, in a large faceted gem. And then a slightly sort of a middle sized, shall we say. Uh, round faceted gem with uh, an AB coating which 
shirt here. Yeah, that's uh, pretty cool. So they're going to be highlighting all around here. So when you get one of these paintings, don't always go by the colours that uh, are shown on your actual canvas. Because, I mean, this is showing purple and dark pink, but actually the gems are going to be gold and uh, are clear with the iridescent coating on. So it's just as they do the painting to get the key code correct so that you can spot it easily and do it easily so you're not thinking, well, what's this one supposed to be and what's this one supposed to be? Okay, so that's canvas number one. Uh, it says it's 30 by 40, but uh, I would think it is probably... Let's have a look. Oh, I'm on the inches side. Let's do centimetres because that's what it says on here. And still not found my little tape measure. <laughs> uh, so it's 24 centimetres that way, which is pretty standard. You'll find that anything that is a poured glue canvas... Uh, and occasionally one that's got the double-sided tape on won't be quite the size um, that it says it is. It's the actual size of the piece of canvas you're getting, not the area that you're putting your drills on. So that one's up to 30 there. We're only doing this roughly. So it's going to be about 34. So we're roughly 24 centimetres by 34 centimetres. But if you are wanting to frame it, I do quite like the fact that they are slightly smaller than the frame because then if you do want to put it onto a different piece of card, um, what colour would I put on this? Maybe silver, to be honest, or even the blue, just to get a blue spark, well, not a sparkly, but a blue maybe mirror card, just to pop that on, just to make that pink pop a little bit and bring out the blue highlights. And then just put it in either a white or a black frame. Probably a black frame to match up with this background. And that will just bring that forward a little bit and just make it pop that little bit more. Hmm, interesting. Things to think about. So yeah, when you get your painting, you don't always have to stick to uh, what they say. I mean, you can substitute out any of the drills if you want to. But I tend to like uh, doing it as it says to start off with. And then once I've looked at it, I then decide whether I want to alter anything or not. But this one, as I say, other than putting the glossy accents into the eyes, just to make the eyes look a bit more domed, a bit more crystally like. And I don't know whether I'll particularly change anything on this one, but that is pretty. She's such a pretty little cat. Look at that. That's like a big cat in a hat. <laughs> Only this one's a flower hat. Okay. So let's have a look at the second one. Put those over there. And this one, ooh, is this a smaller. Is this a 30 by 30? I think, yeah. Again, it's doing that smashing the specials was absolutely lethal. Um, it was on for the whole of February. And I just got looking at everybody else's pieces. And then you go looking for what somebody else has done and think, oh, I might get that one myself. I love that. And then you start coming across other ones as well and you think, oh, I love that as well. And when they're only sort of £3, £3.50ish, you think, oh, well, yeah, it's only a couple of quid. Obviously, it does then add up to several lots of a few quid. <laughs> so you do have to be careful. Um, but, uh, yeah, at the moment, I just think, oh, well, I'm worth it. It's my hobby. I mean, at £3.50, you know, you... you can go out for a cup of coffee and spend more than that. Go if you get a coffee and a bun in one of these shops, you can spend a link in a fiver. In fact, I think uh, the last time Hubby and I went out for a coffee, uh, oh no, it was a hot chocolate. We had a hot chocolate each and a bun each, and it cost us nearly £12. And I was like, I'll just take out a mortgage while I have a cup of hot chocolate to recover. <laughs> Okay, so this is our fishy, and strangely enough, even though this one is very sort of partial, none of the background is diamond painted, so there's not a huge amount of gems on this one. This one has 14 colours, so it has more than the last one we just looked at. Uh, it says it's a 30 by 30, but I think we're looking at probably about a 24 by a 24. Yep, 24 that way, and let's hop the other way. And yeah, it's 24 that way, so yeah, 
and again we've got a key code at both sides we've got your little picture up here and here but you don't really need to see that because <laughs> you can see what it is but i just thought it was cute i love the lips it's a definite kiss kissing fish this one isn't it um i used to have a little fish uh, and we called her betty boop uh no yes betty boop uh, because she used to shimmy um not that she didn't i mean she was orange she didn't look anything like the betty boop character but that's just what we called her and she used to come up to the fish tank but she was only about that big the body was about that big but she was just so pretty just a real big round body and these big lips and she used to come up to the side of uh, the tank and talk to us but she passed away she didn't last very long and i was really really upset so i've never got any more fish since then because I, I just can't cope with them dying on me um yeah she was she was had quite a while though you know she, but she was a very pretty fish but yeah she used to shimmy she had a lovely big tail like this and she used to shimmy up to you to say hello anybody that says fish only have two second memories i'm not sure because she definitely knew when it was us coming up to uh, the bull to come and feed her she knew what was going on <laughs> okay so let's have a look at these do it oh they're in bags oh Oh, well, some of them are, some of them aren't. Okay, not quite as exciting. Right, so we've got a green boat. We've got a little bit of wax and we've got a pink pen. No tweezers in this one, but that's no great loss because I don't use them anyway. Okay, let's have a look at this one. Oops. Okay, we're not going to get into this one quite as easy as the last one. Aha, there it is. Ooh, lots of specials in this one. Okay, they all come in with separate bags. So we have, oh, we've got hot pink. Yay, I knew we'd find a hot pink eventually. Hot pink, hot pink alert. We do like a hot pink. Uh, a palish, purpley, lilac -y colour. A nice bright cherry red there. Your standard plain silver. And then we've got a goldy gold. <laughs> And a very yellow gold. That one's it's practically yellow. That's not really gold at all. A nice pale blue. So it's very palish colours, this one. And an aqua blue. And then we have some teardrops in gold faceted. And some not quite so small uh, marquees, purple. Uh, little faceted ones there. And then the ones in the bags that they've decided that they're going to count them out one by one, I think. We have some blue faceted large rounds there. And, ooh, they're pretty. Ooh, look at that colour. Love that colour. That's really nice. That's a very deep purpley colour. Okay, in a large faceted round. Well, a medium faceted round. And then we have a few little blue teardrops. Not quite a navy blue, maybe a royal blue. Come on, focus. Thank you, camera. That was very good of you. And then, oh, look at those. Let me get them. Get in the bottom of the bag so we can see you. Oh, these are the lips. <laughs> look, it's going to have A, B lips. Look at that. Having lipstick that colour. Wow. Oh, if you put that on your lips, you'd walk in the door. The lip, your lips would walk in the door five minutes before you, wouldn't they? Ooh. Yeah, you'd definitely get noticed wearing lipstick that colour. Brilliant. Love those. So they're really nice colours. Okay. So we've done pretty well on this little haul. I'm quite uh, happy with these for the price. Okay, let me put some labels on these. Oops. Oh no, where's my labels gone? Right, I'm going to use my Add More Zest labels again. And label them all up, put these back into their little packets. Get off me, get off, don't be sticking to me. Okay. So we'll just uh, we'll just call this one fish. Because <laughs> that's what it is. Okay, um, I'm gonna put the code number on it as well. I do like labelling, I do find it makes life so much easier. Um, when you're looking through your drills so bj117 and it's i always put 30 by 30 or whatever the canvas size i don't bother about putting the drill area size and we're a special with 14 colors 
Okay, and they were from the Ha He store. I just think that's brilliant. Ha he ha he ha he. <laughs> oh dear. Little things. So that's that one labelled. And let's get the other one to label as well. So we need to put these back in this bag. Come on, get back in. Look that face. I think it's because it's pink. It's very similar looking actually to Thomas, the little cat that hangs around us. Um because he's sort of like a bit of a tabby, but he's not pink, obviously. Um most of the time he's dirty with a snotty nose, but uh, he's definitely not pink. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna call this pink cat. Okay. And this one is B063. Excuse my writing. It's a uh, spider crawling over a page, but it's better than not having any label on at all. And again, it's from Hahi. And it's a special drill. And this one is only 10 colours. So yeah, it's uh, quite strange that the larger one with a lot more gems actually has less colours. But you would think, looking at those, that actually that one would be more detailed. Hmm. Okay. Sorry, just uh, <laughs> try that again. Yeah, you'd think that this one would be uh, more colours and more detail. I suppose I know it's a lot of pink, a lot of a big area of pink, but there are still a lot of other different colours and gems there. Um, but I suppose the tail on this one has got quite a few different colours in it as well. So... Okay, what I'm going to do is uh, open the uh, other one on another unboxing um, and then I can spend a bit more time on that one because I want to have a play about with that one. Okay, well, I hope you've enjoyed looking at these two with me. And, oh, look at that little face. Just stroke that little nose. So cute. Uh, if you have enjoyed looking at these with me, a thumbs up is always much appreciated. It just gives me a little bit of a boost with YouTube. And if you want to come back and see what I get up to next and see what's in the other package, then if you press that subscribe button and the little no all notifications bell next to it, you'll be notified when any of my next videos come up. So thanks ever so much for stopping by and I really do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.